Hi guys, it's Nancy, and I have this little cute frog add-on, which is part of the add-on club kits, part of the caboodle, if you wanted to do that. I have a um, leftover um, 3D embossing folder, uh, which is this pumpkins and sunflowers. If you missed the live I did, I put together the club kits. This is the 3D embossing folder, the glimmer of the month, the better press of the month, and the wax seal of the month. So you can go catch that replay. This is all four of the club kits that I get. And so this is just the add-on. We're gonna play with this little frog and I'm gonna play with the little scout. And I also got the uh, magic mat from scrapbook.com. So I know a lot of you guys have said you've been struggling with your scout. So I think this might help. So we're going to try this out as well. So let's cut out some of these little pieces and see how we do here. So I have a scrap piece of green, which I'm going to use as my mat layer behind, but I thought we could probably cut out the little frog here. So we have our base plate A platform B, and then we're going to use our magic mat to cut on. Ooh, we may not be able to fit that in there, actually. Ooh, we might have to grab our big one, because I don't, I still want to use this as my mat layer, so I don't want to cut this down. So we're going to save that and cut that out of another piece, but we have a little purple piece here to use to cut out our, um, a little stripe to his hat, his little witch's hat. And he has little spots on him. So we're going to make his spots purple and his belly purple. So he's going to be purple and green. So we're going to try that. And we're going to put our top layer on. And you'll notice I'm kind of putting everything in the middle of the mat. We'll see how that works. I don't want anything on either edge. Now, this is thicker cardstock, so I am going to run that through a couple times. This is heavy cardstock. And I, oh, I also wanted to do, I wanted to do the trick or treat. Oh, I cut right through perfectly. Put my little extra pieces in here. Flying across the desk. And we're going to do our trick or treat in the same. Purple. I'm going to use a little piece of tape to hold that in place. All right, and then we have a little piece of black to cut out the hat.
Okay, and like I said, I don't want to, I want to keep that green piece intact. Oh, I need to do the eyeballs. So we want to do that same piece of black for the eyeballs. So I think the bigger eyeballs here, and then we're going to do the little eyeballs in white. little guy comes in so handy and that magic mat now I know they also have a magnetic mat um, I had ordered this right before the magnetic mat came in handy but I don't think I need it you can see everything's popping right off of here no problem a little pokey tool for this one Okay. All right, now I'm going to move this one out of the way. I'm going to bring my regular platinum in. Like I said, that green frog. I want to cut out of the regular size paper, and I want to keep this as a mat layer. That's why I try to cut everything out of the center. So now it's just a matter of assembly. Super easy. Oh, I forgot to cut out a little piece of white. All right, now we're ready. So I have this green piece, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. And this came out of the Spellbinders variety pack. And the orange is persimmon. We did the September 3D embossing folder of the month, which again I just showed live. And I cut that down to five and a quarter by four. So I'm just going to layer those on there like that. Very simple. And now we're going to assemble this guy. This will be our little 
trick or treat and we're going to put him together here and I have my little spellbinders fine glue tip bottle here for this His eyes. Okay, so for his hat, there is a fine little strip here. This would be fun to put little uh, googly eyes on. I have a little I got a pokey stick here. Oh, I hope my head was not in the way there. Sorry if it was. We have a little purple for his belly there. Rounded side goes up. Okay, these two little green things were what popped out of his eyes, so we do not need those. And then we have these two little purple dots, which kind of go in his armpits here. Oh, nope, they go under. I put the glue in the wrong spot. They actually go up here for his, um, under his eyes for just extra color, like spots. I put them in the wrong spot, that's okay. You put them where you want. I'm going to put them under his armpits because I already put the glue there. They actually go under his eyes, but since I already put my glue there, that's where his are going. But you put your spots wherever you want. Okay. And then there is an indentation under his hat here where you would put his head. Or you can do it without... wherever you want your little froggy. Very easy to assemble, really cute. Like I said, I think he would be fun with little googly eyes. Oh, I guess that indentation is supposed to be in black and look like the hat. Oops. Oh, well. Yeah, I think that's what that's supposed to be. That's supposed to be cut out in black and look like the hat is wrapped around his head. Okay. Well, mine looks like spots now. And we're going to make this really simple. And I'm going to put a little weight 
weighted block on there. Or should I say a big weighted block on there? And I'm going to put foam tape behind him so he pops up. And I think he's a cute addition just because he's a frog. And I know there's not a lot of frog card themes out there, like frog themes out there. But we have so many um, mushrooms and foresty fall things out there. So I think a frog addition is really cute. And I know a lot of my friends are into frog things. So when I saw a frog, I thought, oh, he's super cute, even without the little Halloween witchy hat. But um, I had to put the little witchy hat on him. So that is part of the add-on if you get the Caboodle kit, which is the Get It All Spellbinders Club kit. Um, remember that you can start the club kit on the 6th of the month if you are brand new. If you are already a club kit member, you can add him, add them as of the 1st of the month. But... Isn't he super cute? Trick or treat. So that is the 3D embossing folder of the month for September. And this is the add-on. There you go. And if you are interested in any of the others, this is part of the Better Press gave you all of these different leaves. This is the wax seal of the month. This is part of the glimmer of the month. Um, so lots of things you guys can go check out my live that I did of the September clubs of the month. And if you had fun watching me make this cute little card, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll have the links down below if you're interested in doing any shopping over at Spellbinders. I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.